Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can publish our own MCP server on PyP, right? Which is a Python package index, right? Where you can basically, uh, you know, publish your packages or library and you can use that in your program, right? Uh, sometimes uh, you might want to you know get rid of running the mcp servers like let's say locally and you want to run it through let's say uh, you know you have published your server on like pyp or npx or any anywhere and you want to use that in an mcp client so we're gonna do that so this is going to be the uh, video within the mcp playlist so i'll first recommend you watch the previous videos within the mcp playlist model context protocol if you haven't watched already I have created around, I think, 12, 12 video, of, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this is going to be the 13th video within the MCP playlist. Uh, and we are going to, you know, publish our uh, MCP wiki server, Wikipedia MCP server on PyP. And I already have it. I'll just walk you through and how you can use that through an MCP client. So if you look at here on my screen, okay, I am using a client called Goose. Okay, so Goose is if, if first of all if you see if you if you don't have goose installed you can install goose through here goose is just like a, a user interface it's an unified interface uh, where you can perform multiple tasks because they have agent support they have llm support so you can have a chat kind of sessions as well where you can ask questions and you can configure different models so it's just like open web ui right you know so you would have worked with Open Web UI where you use the local models through Olama. So very similar to that, but uh, it's available on Mac system and it's available on Linux. So any kind of Unix distro, Linux distro, you can work with. You can work with Goose. If you want to install this on Windows, you need to uh, use Goose CLI via WSL. So you need you need Windows subsystem for Linux. So you you they don't have an official Windows support. Right, but I'm just saying it works on cloud, cloud as well because I like Goose because I'm working on Mac right now uh, for this current video. I wanted to create it uh, via Goose because it's a fantastic lightweight tool that you can use it. So very simple, you know. You can download Goose Desktop for Mac OS. It, you can see it says it gives you a GIF file. You just run the executable file and launch the Goose Desktop application. The moment you do it, it will ask you to choose a provider like what model you want to use. So the good thing is that it has support for both open source and closed source models. So you can also use Olama. You can see it says run and use open source models locally. If you don't want to use open web UI and you, you need a very minimal lightweight tool, you can use Goose because it's very minimal, clean UI and not confusing like open web UI to, to be very honest, right? It's really, when you go into personalization on open web UI, it's really confusing. But you can use Grok, you can use uh, OpenAI, Anthropic, Databricks, you can bring your own Databricks hosted models over here. You can use Open Router. So you can also do Open Router, which is an unified interface to use multiple models. You know, it has a router that can route to multiple LLMs. So this is how it comes up and you can add your keys and get it. So you can see this is how it looks like. You know, I am already in the settings. So I have multiple models. You can see I'm using Grok, OpenAI, and they have an extension support that's called, so they call it MCP as an extension, okay, within the Goose tool. So it says the model context protocol is a system that allows AI model to securely connect with local or remote resources using standard server setups like standard input output or HTTP, SSE, so on and so forth, right? And it uses main components like, you know, prompt resource and tools. So you can see I already have an MCP wiki installed here. It says wiki MCP server to fetch article. I will show you step by step how you can do it. That's not a problem. In the mode selection, they have configured how Goose interacts with tools and extensions. It has, you can give a complete autonomous privilege to Goose so it can, you know, take full file modification capabilities, edit, create and delete files freely. So it can, it can also uh, work like a COA or CUA, computer operated agent or computer use agent. And you can only do chat only if you only want to like ask questions and retrieve smart approval. It has good features, guys, you know, Goose AI. So this is what it is. And I already have. So I'll first show you. This is the project that, guys, we already created in my previous video. It's called MCP Wiki. 
if you look at this mcp wiki thing in that what we did we created a server.py that you can see here let me show you we are using mcp server right fast mcp uh, and then we have some errors and some types we initiate and uh, server here instance of a server that's called wiki and then we define a tool that's how you define a tool through a decorator so we are doing at the rate mcp dot tool and then we write our function which read wikipedia articles takes url as an input and then of course you just beautiful soup so on and so forth so kind of fetches fetch the all the content and then convert that to a markdown using html to text library uh, uh, package that we use that's what very simple and i already have sony if you haven't seen it guys you should watch this video right uh, let me just go to ai anytime youtube i'm gonna show you that video yeah uh, this video mcp uh, mcp inspector video yeah you can watch this also or you can also watch other video like this is the fine it is you can see it over here it has mcp wiki uh, you can also get this code on github repository of ai anytime so if you go on i don't want you to write any code because you already have that available so just to save, save some time go to ai anytime come to awesome mcp server within awesome mcp server you can find out mcp wiki just go and you clone this repository wherever you are working that's it now and you will see something like this right now let me show you the pi project.2ml because these are the dependencies that you need to do just do uv sync okay right it will sync it uh, install all the dependencies now once you have it here so you have to push it on pi p so if you don't know what pi p is python package index where you can publish the packages whatever you do right pip install or uv uh, you know add or something it all happens through pi p now you can see i already have pushed mcp wiki over here you can do it pip install mcp wiki. how did i do it i'll show you only two command guys we need only two command if you are using uv i recommend you use uv only two command the first command is you have to in the project folder you have to write uv build the moment you do uv build it will create a dist folder you see it you see it here on my screen it has a dist folder within the dist folder it creates a will file you know you when you install libraries that right, you'll see a will that has to be installed build right if you have to build and it creates a zip file that gets uploaded so you want to create three files git ignore that will and then that mcp wiki zip file that contains all your code right so these three things that it it has uh, within the dist now once the dist is created you have to see i am running it here I, you can see it over here how i did uv build and of course i have refreshed the token so it doesn't matter you can see uv build it says building source distribution building wheel from source distribution successfully built successfully built now once you do that you need to push it to pi p whatever dist within the dist that you have so you can see what i'm doing you have to do uv publish hyphen hyphen token and your pi p token here now this pi p token you will get it from your account settings within the account settings i have to log in i just logged out it logged out me but you can get it from there it's not a big thing you know you just go and it's an api key basically and you just have to come here and just add it so you can see i have given it here and i have refreshed this token now you can see uv publish hyphen hyphen token and like this and then it publishing two files you can see it publishes this will file and publishes this tar.gz file like the it's kind of a gif file that's it your package is pushed to pi p now we do not have to run this locally while interacting with an mcp client that can be a cloud for desktop that can be open web ui through mcop or uh, that can be goose ai that can be libre chat that can be anything we can just use it through here how i'll show you open goose or open cloud for desktop whatever if you are using cloud for desktop it will have a config.json if you are using goose which is very simple you will have something called add custom extension how do you get this you get this in settings let me go to settings you can see i already have run it so that doesn't matter this is how goose interface looks like this is how it will look like right in the below you have working directory you have goose mode completely autonomous and what model it is using on top you can see how minimal it is right on top you see there are three dots within three dots you have something called a new session you will start a new session you have session history where all of your histories are logged you have open directory you have dark mode if you want to switch to dark mode but i prefer more light mode for this tutorial 
uh, you know i use dark mode in night time it's just a day time so let's keep it like this and then we have advanced setting okay within the advanced setting you will find out this where i was showing you earlier now i already have mcp wiki but how you can do it let me show you you have to click on add custom extension the moment you do add custom extension see this as the config but when user interface that's what i like guys you know claude has to work on these things right maybe they are not focusing on mcp as much they just wanted to make it a bit more programmatical and programming friendly i think this has to be through the user interfaces guys if you look at goose even non technical people can configure those things right so if you look at here you have type you have ssc standard input output and built in you have to do standard input output so you do standard io keep it as default and let's see you have something called linkedin feature linkedin profile feature that i have shown in my third or fourth video so if you go to my channel go back you can find out i have lot of mcp let's go to mcp playlist now this is the playlist i was talking about yeah we know you are done so okay if you look at here uh, here is the mcp playlist here we have a lot of mcp videos now if you want to let's say you want to create read linkedin profiles video number uh, let's say 3 okay how can you do it you have to first push it to pipe let's say you have push it to pipe you give it a name so id and name can be same thing and you get a good description like this of fetches the linkedin profiles right something like this now in the command you only have to do uvx and whatever you have this package name mcp wiki nothing else guys you don't have to do nothing else you don't have to like you know run this locally because you already have pushed it to pip you just have to do uvx mc mcp wiki if if that needs any environmental variable if your mcp server needs you have to set it up here let's say linkedin underscore api underscore key or rapid hub underscore api underscore key or any kind of api key you add it here and then add the moment you add it it will add the extension here just like mcp wiki it will show you it will take a minute and it will show here that i am adding an extension and you just check mark check box uh, check in this box and that's it you will be able to fetch it right that's how easy it is guys right if you look at here i already have asked questions i ask i was using other model here so it was the context uh, length exceeded for the wikipedia article but gp because i was using an open source model through olama that was not supporting but here you can use like let's say i'm using gpt for a mini which has a 128k context length that can fit anything so i ask about like let's say read this uh, wikipedia and summarize it right if you say let's say add some question what tools what all tools you can access or something like that if you use grok that will be even more faster guys and sometimes it takes time to establish the connection you can see it says uh, mcp wiki tool i want to show you this because these things are there in built i am not worried about those tools i am i am more concerned about these you can see mcp wiki tool this is what we have this is our mcp server that we are using through pipe that we have pushed through pipe see pipe as a remote server guys let's see it like that right i'm not going to say it's exactly exactly a remote but yeah it is a remote server in a way uh, we can we can definitely justify that and we use that through a goose mcp client goose ai right and you can take like anything right let me go on let's say uh i'm going to say wikipedia and what is synapsis synapsis let's say we take synapsis two chromosome that it says i'm going to so you can see you know you can just like say read and and create let's say create a set of mcq questions because people are creating mcq quizzes you know on those things sort of mcqs for the students or something like that now the moment i do it you can see it says read wikipedia article sometimes it might exceed the token length because the context might be you know more it might not fit into the window but you can see it says read wikipedia article and output if you're running it for the first time you might get first time you might get an error but don't get demoralized uh, restart the goose ai client don't like you have to restart once you add it you can see it says here is a set of multiple choice now let me show you the output first 
you can see it fetches everything from this Wikipedia, right? Using our tools. So fantastic. It fetches it and it creates a set of multiple choice questions based on the information from the Wikipedia article on synapses. It gives you answers also, questions also. I think it gives you 10 questions. Yeah, these questions can be used to test. Now, it's, it's so cool, right, guys? You know, see how easy it is to you know, have your own MCP server. Like we had on Wiki MP, MP, MCP server here, we push it to PyP, we are using a Goose client uh, and we are able to work with it, right? This is what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, that how we can use Goose AI, right? An amazing open source tools to work with, supports both open source, closed source model, have, a, have an ability to, you know, add your uh, extension as an MCP server, as you can see. And you can add multiple and has memory inbuilt has so it already has memory so you don't have to worry about other things right like you bringing up your memories and all long context memory is there for the agents so i hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel because if i will grow you know i'll be more motivated to create more such videos and if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels like LinkedIn or emails, find those information on channel banner and channel about us, right? Please share this video and the channel with your friends and to peer. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.